Hey everybody, it's me, Donna. I hope everybody's doing really good today. Well, I've been listening to the case about Gabby and, and Brian. And um, I think he's hiding somewhere and his family's helping him. And um, his sister's lying. Well, they're all lying. So that's good. I mean, it's not good. But that's just the way it is right now. Poor girl, she's dead. She got killed. It's so sad. Her poor family. Oh my god. I think there was a lot of abuse in that family. This is just my opinion, you know. So, um, I feel really bad for her. And she was away from her family, so they couldn't, they couldn't see what was going on. But a lot of people that are in abusive relationships, they kind of hide that stuff. They hide it a lot. And there's a lot of that goes on, you know. They should have classes in high school to teach people what to look for and, 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 and different things, you know. I think that would be a really good thing if they had classes that teach people what to look for in abuse. Because I think a lot of people don't want to, when you're, when people are in re Re, uh, abusive relationships I don't think they want to look at it they don't want to believe that that person is mean or hateful or are they being abused or stuff like that I don't really think that they because they want to believe that that person loves them you know and that that person has the best interest out for them and stuff so um I think Gabby was like saying, oh no, he really loves me. He really cares about me and all this other stuff. But, um, but he was abusive. And I think she had low self-esteem. I thought she had pretty good self-esteem, but, but some people can, um, uh, really, um, right. Like, um, show, you don't really see that you want to believe that their family isn't as bad as they are. You know, and and maybe you have areas in your life that you need to work on to build up for your self esteem. And she didn't do that. Maybe she she was naive. I think she's not was naive and vulnerable, and and she just need her her family. I mean, she just she was young. She was very young, very young. You know, and. That's sad, and she had knew she'd known him in high school and stuff too, and um, she knew because they lived in the same area as her where they used to live and stuff. And then she went, she went down there from where she lived with her family and stuff, and lived with him. I think that was controlled too. Like she was at their house. It's not like Brian and her went and got their self a place or something. No, they were living with the family. And there and I don't think Brian worked. So I don't know if he worked or not, but to me it don't it don't look like he was working. He didn't he didn't work. And maybe Gabby Gabby had the job and he didn't have a job. Or maybe he did like lawn work I don't know what kind of work he did they don't really say that I think they should investigate the family more um you know like the father's finances the mother's finances and look at their friends look at his friends how many friends did he have um you know um what what kind of classes he took in high school you know, stuff like that. He was putting her down because she wanted to do videos and stuff. YouTube videos and stuff. And her videos are beautiful. I mean, they were beautiful. And you can feel the love that vibrates out of her body and stuff. I mean, I mean, you know, not to be bad, but she just has a bright light to her and stuff. And uh, that's really sad. But I do think that... And then... They should look in on the son-in-law, too. The son-in-law, oh, my God. He's probably helping Brian's family. They're all, like, they're all, like, um, what would they call that? Codependent on each other. They're all, like, codependent on each other. You don't know. They could be hiding stuff from everybody. Who knows? They might have been in uh, witness protection family because... 
they were so rotten or they did really rotten things in their life and you don't know they could be one of those families you know they were the mafia family and they hid stuff from the people because the mafia wants to kill us and stuff who knows you know so um and look at all the places that they went and all these people that they're finding so um that are dead in that area and stuff that is really spooky and the books that brian liked to read about um the book the um what was that the lullaby or something like that that stuff i mean his life really kind of falls on that area falls on that um like so a lot of his stuff in his in the book is like it's like he manifested stuff it's like he manifested bad stuff in his life or he manifested like Gabby was a light, and he is darkness. So darkness and light kind of like track each other. So, um, but it's really scary. I mean, it's really sad. I feel bad for the family because I lost a daughter when she was 25. But my daughter, my daughter, um, didn't, somebody didn't kill her. She was, she had problems, and she died. And, um. Uh, I made me really, really sad, and I still, I still miss my daughter. I miss my daughter every year. So, um, every, not just every year, but every day, I miss my daughter, and I think about her. And, um, you know, my other daughter thinks about her all the time too. Like she's trying to find information about a play that my, that the daughter that died was in and stuff too. So, um, you know. It's really, really sad, you know, when you lose somebody. It even, even to something like an accident or, or my God, but homicide is even worse. I think homicide is worse because, you know, somebody took her life. They took it, you know, and that's really, really sad and horrible. And I haven't done a video for a while, but I figured I would do one because, um, you know, Especially about this case. And I hope they find him. Because why is he running? If he didn't do anything wrong. Why is he running? You know. Why is his family protecting him? Well my family. If we would have done something wrong. My mom would have took us to the place. Told us to confess. And we would have. You know. You, you slept in your bed, now you lie in it, or whatever the saying is, you know. You don't just get away with bad things. You have to face them, I mean. But my mom, my mom was a loving mom and stuff like that. She tried to help us as much as possible, but she wouldn't, she wouldn't let us get away with evil. <laughs> she wouldn't, neither would our grandmother. My, my grandmother, she wouldn't let you get away with evil, you know. Oh, well, but this is really sad, and those two women that died, that got married and stuff, it sounds like they, it might, that Brian and Ab, not Abby, but Gabby, that their case might be connected, and then the guy that they, um, that died there too, that could be connected, sounds like a lot of these, some of these cases might be connected. And that's kind of crazy, too. Like, I don't know all the details. I've been listening to it. I've been listening to the case a lot. And, um, I watched a lot of her videos and stuff. And they were very beautiful. Her videos were beautiful. And you could feel they were, they were, um, very nice. Very beautiful. You could... She had a, um, God, a beautiful spirit, a beautiful soul. I think she was a very loving and caring person. And a lot of people that are really loving and caring, they don't want to believe that somebody's bad. They, they want to look for the best in people and stuff. So it's really, really sad. This is like really, really sad. And I've been faced, I've been, um, like, when I watch the videos, some of the videos I have posted on Facebook and stuff, and I looked at his websites and stuff. I looked on the one, um, 
the, his Instagram stuff and her Instagram stuff, you know, and it's really sad. And um, maybe she was, I just think she was scared and she didn't want to give very much information. And I think that um, she protected him, which was bad, you know. So I really, really, really think, that, I just hope they find him and I hope it don't take forever because it might. And I think he's held up somewhere where it's nice and comfortable and, um, uh, He's drinking, like he's eating pretzels and watching TV and, and just chilling out and stuff. And, um, and he might even already be in another country, even in the woods in some other country or something. And this family has money. They have money, so they're hiding him. They probably got him a new identity and stuff. You know, who knows? They got him a bunch of phones and stuff, burner phones and stuff. They're just hiding his butt. Hiding him. Maybe he came back and told him, Oh, it's all Gabby's fault and stuff. And and uh, I didn't mean to hurt her and all this other stuff. Who knows what he said to them. Or maybe he's saying he left her there and somebody else did it or something. Who knows? Who knows what happened to Gabby? You know, it's really sad. It's really, 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 really sad. And then you don't know what he was doing because he was reading weird books and stuff too, you know. And uh, I looked on his page and hit on his Instagram page and some of the stuff that he was drawing is really creepy. It's creepy, you know. So, um, yeah, so... I just hope everybody's having a really good day today. And if you have daughters, you know, look for signs of abuse and stuff. Family members you're worried about, you know. Look for abuse. And I think that this case, they say, oh, this is a white woman syndrome. They only uh, do cases on... I think that this case, even though it's sad and stuff like that, and I think it's going to open up. Where we will look at domestic violence in a whole new light. And and um, it'll help a lot of people. Not just white people, but all kinds of people of different races and stuff. And I think it's going to shine the light on all these different areas. Like abuse. Lots of serious abuse that people hide and stuff. I think that there'll be... New um, places for people to go who suffer from abuse. I think it'll oh, they'll talk. It'll be talked about more on media. Maybe they'll have more classes in high school and stuff for people and college and stuff. They should have co classes in college about abuse, about and that that it should be mandatory that everybody has to take those classes. Yes. So, I really do because it's not just here in America either. It's all over the world. It's not just here. It's everywhere. It's everywhere, This these cycles of abuse. People grow up and they get um, brainwashed to believe that sometimes that abuse is normal. So, they don't really know what to look for because... They get, they get, um, programmed that this, uh, abuse is normal and stuff. Or, or they just want to help people and they don't see the really bad things in people and stuff like that. So I really do think that, that, that some, hopefully, I know it's sad that the young lady died and stuff, but hopefully that more, more will be done about abuse. Uh, domestic and violent abuse and that people that they'll have classes on what to look f more safety classes too more more classes teaching people how to be safe and stuff because for one thing why would the media want to teach people about this when there are so many psycho people running around hurting people the people I think what it is, is the uh, government 
government doesn't really want people to know how serious of a problem this really is. I don't think it's a white or black or racial problem. I I think it's a uh, everyday people problem because I think it's a bigger problem than than I think it's big. I think it's a big problem for all races of people. All races of people that this is a national security problem for all people. Not just one race, but all races. So I think that it's important that we have classes in high school about abuse. I don't know if they have that. And then in college, um, I think they should have classes that you can take on TV and stuff for abuse and stuff. They should have, um, they should teach people, people, not just women, but all people about abuse, about signs to look at and stuff about abuse. So, um, I think that this is a serious problem. And I'm going to do another video on this about in each state. They have missing people in every state. Every state. Some states have more more, more missing people than other people. But, um, and I'm going to do some videos on people that are missing. Like I did one on this lady named Star in West Virginia that's still missing and they haven't found her yet. And uh, her husband didn't get, he didn't get very much time in jail because he plea bargained and stuff. So I think her name was Star. Well, that, I think that, and she was down there in West Virginia and stuff. And I think that these cases should be, the light should, should be shined on them. A bunch of cases about people going missing and stuff, you know. There is tons and tons of these cases. So this is where I'm going to end my video. And I hope you all are having a really good day. Okay, I love you all. And I hope you're having a really good day. And uh, my maybe my next video is signs to look out for being abused and stuff. Or being, or, or domestic abuse. Or just sign how to stay safe and stuff okay i love y'all and i'll talk to y'all later have a good day bless you god bless you all bye